Hello there, everyone. Welcome to Production Line, Episode Six. If I go dr dry finish, put one there. One, I can't put that one there because of that. Literally, because I can't put there because there's a conveyor belt in the way. A dry finish there. A dry finish there. Would well, screw me over entirely. Uh, um, I want three of these guys, so I put one there. Get rid of that a minute. I put one there. So I can't do that. I put one there. I can put it there. Let me put the next one back here. That's only give me two though. I want three on this line. If I put one there. And put one there. And the other one there. Convey belt that one. Straight in. Convey belt that one. But you also have to have a conveyor belt getting to that one. Oh yeah, that would be useful, wouldn't it? Put that like that. Drive finish number one can go there. Drive finish number two can go down here. Back one like that. Conveyor belt that one straight into there. Conveyor belt that one up and back. And then your paint machine there. Just head on down. To there. To there. And to there. So if that if that's balanced, that should be good. What we're to find out is to connect these guys up to it. Now, how do I say we want to connect these guys? Oh, they're not connected to anything. Uh, convey belt. These guys were connecting to there, connecting to there, connecting to there. So they are all now packed into this system, and we can take these guys out and pack you in. Now, how did I get you guys packed in originally? Because I screwed myself over every time. No, I haven't. Ah, I thought I had done. You're going to actually cross here, you see. Like that. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. Ready? Boom, 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 and boom, and boom. Convey belt from there to there to there. Thank you for the save. Convey belt. That's our input there. So you are gonna come down here and into there. Go! Resource line. Save it by accident. In my excitement. There we go. All right. If this works. Both sides should now be feeding this paint array, which is a bit of a mess, but I kind of like the uh, way it's working. Uh, I only want to put a stockpile here for paint. Uh, you just need paint, right? It's just literally paint. I can put a stockpile there to keep these guys supplied with paint at all times. Stockpile. We are a little short on cash right now, but that'll uh, go away pretty soon. Uh, copy from slot. Ah. Well, in that case, show me the painting. Um, fill seats, dry... Where's painting? Paint! Undercoat. Ten. And the other one, if it's both paint, I'm happy with that. Paint. Overcoat. Yeah, they're both paint. That's fine. Bring me loads and loads of paint to that slot. Also, don't sever the conveyors. It's going to use right click to get rid of the control, because if I get rid of that, it's fine, but I don't want to get the menu open, you have to right click to do it. So I'm going to bring a load of paint into here, which is going to be good. When all the paint gets here, it'll be able to discharge these paint guys, and they won't be draining so much paint from everywhere, other places. Let's look at our, uh, now we've got, what you got, what's your, the insufficient resources. You'll be fine. Paint's arriving here, paint will uh, mean we're not dragging as much resources out that way as you were doing before. Paint's going to be kind of our big bottleneck at this point. I could bring a dedicated conveyor line of paint down, couldn't I? I could do, I'm not going to do. Uh, I am, however, going to bring this across here. Convey belt, uh, convey belt, you into there. Because what I've noticed is this guy's feeding this side a lot more, which is, I'm fine with. I'm fine with. Okay, 22 cars on the market. We can start lowering those prices now. Back down to 70% as we had it before. And that should hopefully start. So, our bank balance is dangerously low right now. <clears throat> I am really not happy about how low that is. But uh, hopefully, we can get going. So, we have cars passing through the system. There, we have cars in this system here. These guys are bottlenecked. Okay, these guys are bottlenecked. They are moving through. Look, they are moving. They're all moving. Excellent. And these guys are selling. Good. And that's good. And these guys are coming through. They're all waiting on something. Bring on that guy, the dry undercoat. Oh, yeah, the, the dryers will... We have four dryers. They are going to bottleneck each other. There's no two ways about that. We've got this conveyor belt that's all jammed up right now, which is fine. It's just waiting to be for a while. And these guys are the same. You can't have it perfect. There's always going to be the uh, slowdown. I have ways to speed things up when I get some more money. Uh, the dryers, I can buy extra dryers. These guys, I can put extra arms on them. 
So we have uh, that ability, but look at that. <clears throat> Isn't that just a horrifically bad little layout? I kind of like it, though. I mean, the cars are ready to go. Um, the only downside is that these guys are going to empty for a while while they're waiting because these are all bottled up here. That's not a problem, it's just how it's going to work. That first guy's going to go straight into there, though, and hopefully we're going to start seeing a lot more retos. These are really hard, taking a long while to fill the paint up. I don't think it's ever going to fill that paint up. It could be good to have like, a dedicated line to the paint. 800,000 in the bank, cars are at 18. Ooh, we don't actually have cat, we can't sell. Oh, yeah, that would definitely affect our ability to uh, make money. That one to there, that one to there, that one to there. And just in case it ends up being needed, that one to there, that one to there, that one to there. Okay, they should now be able to sell. <laughs> that was my, entirely my screw up there. They should be able to sell now. Is the hope. Cars should move really pretty quickly. This side is starting to just clear down. We have cars here being dried. So we should start seeing hopefully cars going into that one. And if we're painting. Oh, they're going to keep going down to that one, aren't they? So more going to come this way simply because they can. It might be better to move that paint to finish one square up. 800k in the bank. Let's move it a couple of squares up. Conveyor belt for you to there, and I need a paint finish to go there. Conveyor belt there to there, there to there. So now, so now we have these two dryers feeding that one, and these two dryers feeding that one. We just need to get supply in there because apparently I missed it out by one line. There we go. Paint should start coming in now to the appropriate places that need paint. Uh, so we roughly have, yeah, two. To, we have two of these to one of these at the moment, and then three dryers on each end. That should be more than enough to keep the place up and running. We just need to get the paint to that place, which would be very nice if we would just get there. Go, 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 go. I'd love to see the stockpile actually fill up with paint at some point, because it's it's just it's, it's, it's having real trouble keeping up with the stock. We're asking to put 36 paint in there. He's having real trouble keeping up with the paint. Oh, I mean, look, we just we are sending a lot of it down, but we are using a lot of it. We're having these this many painting stations. Yes, cars are starting to come through the system right now. Hopefully, we're going to start seeing a lot more throughput, insufficient resources, but there's no dead ends. Our resource um, requirements are quite high. It's going to get to the point where we buy a piece of land just to bring a conveyor belt into the middle, which is not entirely undoable. However. We have now 30 cars, we can bring that price down to 60%. I also keep an eye on my budget because we are uh, right now running a bit short on cash. Yes. Bam, bam, ba, dam, ba. And come on, what are we going to do is come on, 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 come on. 25 cars for sale. Keep selling cars, 800k. I want to be at over a million at any one point. I don't want to have it below a million. Below a million is just like, oh, we're a bit short. I might actually just reduce it down to 50% just to get the cars selling a bit faster. 20, yeah, we are producing them that fast right now. Uh, that they're, they're not going to keep up. So let's put it down to 50% price just to get the cars selling that bit faster. There we go. And I think we now have two, well, not fully efficient, but fairly efficient production lines. And we can increase their efficiency as well. There's no uh, doubt about that. Um, I can, I can buy the upgrades. We got a million now. Let's buy the upgrades for the dryers. So you upgrade type one, type two. They cost a grand each for the upgrades, but it's not, that's not bad when you consider what you get uh, a mass increase in speed. Give you an idea. One second. That's a car. Click on the car. Uh, if I buy that one and buy that one, eleven minutes to dry a car versus thirteen minutes to buy a dry car. So now that means the car throughput is much, much faster on these first dryers. And we're not seeing any bottlenecks on the back dryers, are we? No, because we have an empty one right there. And these ones over here. Two of that one, one of that one, that one. Yeah, so there's not really a bottleneck forming anywhere on the dryers as yet, apart from these ones. So now these are much more efficient. So we should start seeing these guys move through quicker. Now I could, in order to make these guys more, I'd have to add an extra one in, easily another one or two. To do that, I have to move these, which is just not going to happen because everything else is there to make the engines and stuff. So we're okay where we are for now. There is a way to do it, and that is to move uh, that one and that one 
and that one all that way, have them come back in like that, and then they do it. That's of course we want to keep the straight line on Veybelts. I mean, my plan is to put stop powers down the middle, supplying both sides, because uh, the stop powers are quite useful. We just need the money to supply. I mean, this paint one here is just not keeping up with stock because there's so much stuff being requested continuously. So we'd need, I mean, that guy over there is always out of resources. So we need to get some stock piles to help them out. And we, all I'll do is I'll place stock piles to each one of these guys and say, copy from there and then do. And it'll be fine. But uh, we are we are using a lot. We actually got down to four cars in stock. So we've sold almost all of our available stock right now, which is actually really good. Now, how can we best do the next piece? I mean, we're not even getting a bottleneck of cars here. I mean, cars are going through there pretty quickly. So it's just the dryers that are... Uh, that's slowing everything down right now, which we, yeah, we kind of expected that at the point. I do like the way we've done this, though. <clears throat> I like this. It's quite nice. One thing we could have done is built it in as two continuous lines side by side, and then have the big paint thing, and then have the two splits off to go and sell, which have a long line coming down here, just cars heading down to sale, which we could have done, but uh, it seems kind of inefficient to do that, in my opinion. You know, let's get this uh, conveyor belt here packed into the other side. It might help out. No, not that, the conveyor. Pipe that one into there. It might be able to help out with the demand further down the line. Because it is just literally you need to get more stuff in and everything is a bit uh, over you. If I can pipe you almost strictly into where the paint comes in. Like that. That might help with that piece as well. Because that immediately if things are on the route, are they going where I think they're going to go? Where, I don't know where you're going, actually. They're going there, I think. Yep. Which is kind of where they were going to go before. I just want to see if we can get anything to get, deliver extra paint. Because that would be quite nice to get extra paint and stuff. So we have these conveyors doing their jobs. This one doesn't seem to do much, really. I could cut that one there and let that one have the entire side. Because that there. Bring my convey belt thing back up. Conveyor, you go there, you go there, and they, they connect. I was hoping they wouldn't connect. Well, you know what? They don't need to worry about that. They don't need to connect. Conveyor, there. That one can just supply that line. Because it's got a lot of supply. This one can supply this. Uh, that's a long way for stuff to come down, though, isn't it? Ugh. Okay, we'll re reconnect them. We'll reconnect them. Uh, there. Yeah, why not? There they go. Just a flood of things going the other direction now. They're going long. Why are you going the long way around, really? Wow. Okay. Uh, well, I don't see a reason why we can't just do that then. And that. Personally speaking, it's probably a horrible idea to do that, but we'll try that anyway. Because if we can get if this can double up, which I didn't know they could do, then I'm fine with that one helping you out. But that one just seems to be never used. I mean, we have low resources, and that one's never utilised. Right, how are we doing? We have low resources over here, insufficient resources there. That's okay. We expected that at some point. I mean, if you could deliver, like, valves and stuff, it'd be really good, but uh, fine. Fine, 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 fine. I like that all the low resources are on that side of the belt, by the way. Yeah, I noticed that. <clears throat> okay, so... We don't actually have much of a backlog on painting, because those upgrades have done quite well, haven't they? Very nice. And there's no backlog on the uh, on the second paint. The backlog here is quite small. The backlog here for drying is... This one's got more of a backlog on drying, but these ones don't. Which is actually looking really good for us. Because of the, sort of the line of stuff as the car moves through the conveyor belt. Dun, 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 so we still have a bottle bottleneck here. Let's go solve that. There's a bottleneck here. Five minutes compared to two minutes. We can get that down. More robot arms. More robot arms. They go down to four minutes now. <laughs> got three robot arms. Look at him. <laughs> right, that will help with that one. That's uh, fit roof. So, if fit roof, on that side it needs doing, the fit roof on this side only doing as well. Where's fit roof? Fit roof, fit roof, fit, fit roof. You actually don't have a problem with speed. I'm going to upgrade you anyway. Bam, 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 bam. There you go. I've upgraded you anyway. Because it's this guy here who's always out of resources. It's a problem. 
Um, if this is like way of having extra, uh, extra upgrades on there, it'd be great. All right, so you need, what do you actually need? Window. Give me a stockpile, we'll put some windows in there. Stockpile! Right there. Um, right there. And cut and it's fit windows, right? Fit windows. Fit windows. Green screen? No. Fit windows. Hang on a minute. What are you? No. It's always low on resources. Fit windows and fit mirrors. Yeah, so you just need windows, right? Yeah. And you need mirrors? Wing mirror and... and okay, we can both supply this local area. If there was a way to say I want to copy from three different things, but that's okay. Fit windscreen. On windows. Uh, don't copy, I'll just do it by hand, it's easier. Stock windows. Stock window wing mirrors. What do you need? Door panels. Yeah, you're not running out of materials, you're fine. Windows. Stock 20. 20. Mirrors. Stock 20. 16. You know what? Make it, make it even. 18, 18. 18. And 18. That should hopefully help you out with your supply shortage. We'll find out if it does. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's something I could do. I could sever this guy. And just have a dedicated line running up to stockpiles in the middle. That's, not, that's actually not a bad option. This guy just supplies stockpiles. Yeah. That actually wouldn't be bad. Let's, uh... We're going to convey belt here. Away from all the other convey belts. Now I see you can't do that. Because if you tried to do that. It would uh, connect there and send them out for that. So it doesn't really work the way you want it to work. I know. 45 cars? Okay. Let's get them down even lower. Back down to 50. 40% profit. I just want them selling as fast as they can sell. Because the faster they sell. The more money you make. So you don't need to worry about uh, keeping the stock going like that. Ba 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 ba. We're actually getting a little bit of paint in here. Not much, but I mean, it's wiped out almost immediately. And we're getting window fray, window fingers, and windows. Yes! That should help keep you guys going, and you should output there. Oh, that's your note. Oh, there's a conveyor belt there. Resource conveyor from here to. Ooh, that's a bit weird one. No. Why if we go there? No, there's a loop. There's going to be a, uh, gonna be a loop where we put it. Fine, have a loop. There we go. Instant supply of windows to you. Excellent, excellent. We're down 27 cars in stock, 1.2 million in the bank. We're doing quite well. It's a bit tighter than I'd like it to be, but it uh, looks like we're going now. Let's have a look at our bottlenecks. Intermission resources on this one. You are door panels. You require door panel. Well, you know, I can add door panels in here. Stock 10 mirrors. 10 of them. And, oh, no, not 16. And 10 of them. Ten. Thank you. That should do it. Hopefully that'll help out with stock for you two. Because if it gets up to you, you're the, you're the bottleneck on this one, you see. So that should help out. Okay, and this side is actually doing pretty well right now. Yes, this side is doing really well. I mean, you get that little bottleneck stuff, but where's it happening? Here. At the fit roof area. You've already got your robot, so you can't have any more. Fine. No more robots for you. But we're doing pretty good. Look at that. We're actually uh, outputting cars on a regular basis. There's a car there, a car there, and a car there. So, do you move out? Yeah, so there would have been a small bottom. Not much, but a small one nonetheless. And a lot of these places can actually be increased in efficiency by simply just buying more robots. So that's actually not something we're to worry about. Down here, we've got two cars in the QA bank. So we are... Yeah, we're doing really well, actually. They're, uh, the efficiency-wise, they're doing really well. I mean, we can upgrade the robots on a lot of these places as well, which is going to really help out. We've got 1.2 million in the bank. We've got 30 cars in stock. We're not doing too bad. We're out of paint again, but, you know, you shouldn't be out of paint. There's been heat got paint. Why are you being paint? I'm an outside world and we can bring it to here. Just say, just right there, look, right, right there. It would be great if these had a, an input and an output. If it was like... If it was like a square here for the input and a square there for the output diagonally, so they can't connect, you can actually say bring all the paint into the input 
and take all the paint out of the outpour, and it won't try and deliver paint through here. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? But that's not how it works in the real world. Actually, it's how it works in the real Shh. <laughs> but it looks like we're doing okay. It looks like these guys are actually uh, behaving themselves quite nicely. Alright guys, that's been Production Line episode 6, I want to say. So, what do you think about my new layout? It's a bit messy to look at, but the efficiency of it can't be denied. Uh, the problem right now is the dryers over here are... Oh, interesting, these ones aren't. Let's get more pet cars going to that one. That's fine. I mean, these guys are running okay. These guys are running okay. I could connect these guys up and have them do that, but the pathfinding just means it'll all end up at this one anyway. Which probably both of the jumps, I'll tell you the truth. Hmm. I don't know. Might want to reconnect that at some point in the future to see what happens, but we're not, even, we're not having a bottleneck here, we're not having a bottleneck there. I could connect them up just for the fun of it, but I don't think we have the need. Hmm. Also, I can bring that one back on screen, I can put an extra couple of drives on here if I needed to. So we have, we have expansion ability here really easily, we have expansion ability there really easily. We can put more dryers in if we need to. And these guys are definitely bottled up right now. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to put in the extra conveyor there. Oh, maybe I'm not. Why would let me do that? Hmm, why would you let me do that? That one to there, that one to there, that one to there. Well, that one worked fine. Alright. <clears throat> so we're going to start seeing cars bottling from the bottom. So what should happen now is these cars should bypass that one if it's, if it's full, which it's not right now. Oh, it is full. Uh, no, it's not. Can I rotate the camera, please? There's a junction there, but I'm ignoring it. Why are you ignoring it? No, guys, seriously. Oh, because yeah, they'll always go to this one first. They'll deem this one as a priority. So as long as they can get to that one, they will do. Ah, yes, I remember that now. It's an annoying little thing. That car there, is it done? Yeah, see, that car there now can't even come out of there because these guys are going to take priority over it. Yes, that is a... That is a problem now. This one's not going to get any jobs. Yeah, that's the, that's the downside to this mechanism is that you can't have two paint units in the same line because they'll, they'll cause problems. Alright, back to singles. Back to the singles. Back to the singles. Back to the singles. Go, 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 go. 56 cars in the stockpile. We can be the price down even further now. Give me a 30% profit margin. 30. What, really? No. I didn't say it. I thought I could have that, but no, it was, uh, it was being a bit awkward on the mouse. There we go. 30%. So that's what we're going to go for a short while. We are making a lot of cars. We can start re researching upgrades like electric windows and stuff now. Once we get the final uh, painter upgrade. I think they should be researching that right now. In fact, let's go nosy at our research team. What are you doing down here, guys? Yeah, you're, you're almost done with the paints. And we start working on electric windows and all sorts of niceties like that. But that is into that's probably for next time, guys. Until then, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.